Let's take a couple of quick minutes here and talk about a topic that is very upsetting to me and one that you should be well aware of. You know, there is a 95 plus percent chance that the vitamins you're currently taking are harming you. And I say that as clear as possible for you to understand because more than 95% of the vitamins that are sold today are synthetic. They're manufactured with chemicals in a lab. Now I know what you're thinking, oh no, I take a really good one, I, my doctor even suggested I take it. Well, l let me just stop you there, because if your doctor suggested you take it, unless, it's, unless that doctor is some sort of a natural practitioner, there's a very high probability that that is a synthetic vitamin. Now, even your top brands like Centrum, One A Day, just about all the vitamins sold at the grocery store, your local GNC, even Nature Made, folks, Nature Made <laughs> sells synthetic vitamins. You can go right on their website. So the synthetic form of vitamin B12 is called cyanocobalamin. It actually has cyanide in it. Yes. The toxic substance cyanide that then has to be removed by your liver but cyanocobalamin is the synthetic form of vitamin b12 methylcobalamin is the all-natural form of vitamin b12 I encourage you to go and look at Centrum one a day nature made GNC products and see if you see the cyanocobalamin or the methylcobalamin because I know what you're gonna find we did the research we looked this up online and we've been in the stores it is synthetic these companies are owned by the pharmaceutical companies I mean nature made is owned by Atsuka uh, Centrum is owned by Pfizer one a day is owned by Bayer and they use synthetic vitamins synthetic vitamins are very harmful to your system and there's lots of reasons and I could go into all the science I mean heck you can google it for yourself but I can tell you even something as simple as synthetic calcium has been proven to increase your risk of heart attack and stroke by as much as 30 percent I mean these are staggering numbers and unfortunately the media lumps all supplements together they don't really understand the difference between an all-natural and a synthetic so why? Why would someone use synthetic vitamins instead of natural if synthetic is so bad for you? Well, I'm pretty sure you know the answer to that before I even say it. First of all, cyanocobalamin, the synthetic form of vitamin B12, is 100 times cheaper than the methylcobalamin, the all-natural B12. So not only is it cheaper, but these synthetic vitamins have a far, far longer shelf life. So that just doesn't mean the supplements that are sitting on the shelf in the local grocery store or, you know, your vitamin shop. Not just the supplements that need a longer shelf life, but how about all the food that we eat that is being fortified with vitamin B and fortified with calcium? Well, all of those need to be able to sit on the shelf for a very long period of time because it might take a while before you get to buy that box of cereal or buy that loaf of bread or buy those chips or buy those crackers and who are you probably feeding that stuff to your kiddos your babies and it's got synthetic vitamins in there so please do yourself a favor become educated and knowledgeable about the different forms of vitamins because there is a true difference between all natural and synthetic and the synthetic version is really creating a toxic overload on your system and if it's creating a toxic overload on your system just think what it is doing to your kids find a very good high quality all natural supplement that can make a huge difference in your life and how you feel on a daily basis